We keep blame as far away from discussion as possible. Sure, there are no perfect parents, there are no perfect people, so we've all had a whole range of life experiences, but the reasons a person develops an eating disorder, in my view, are largely genetic, which, because genetics are what create the vulnerability. So I like to start there because it's, uh, it helps patients, it helps families uh, feel like it's not their fault. And the reality is that eating disorders are serious illnesses. There are, there are a multitude of inputs into why a person might develop an eating disorder. And many we don't know. As, as much of an advance as there's been in the understanding, we still don't fully understand why one person develops one and another doesn't. We know it's not, certainly not culture alone because there's so many people who don't develop an eating disorder, but our culture has influenced people to diet and we know that dieting is a big risk factor for developing an eating, eating disorder. Somebody begins a diet because they were teased or they feel like they're larger than they should be or they're trying to get a job. And as they begin to lose weight, for some vulnerable individual, something clicks in and you can see it in their eyes. Something changes and they become obsessed with losing more and more weight and it becomes a vicious cycle. We need to do what we can to interrupt that, that cycle.